Hey, it's Matt. Um, my buddy told me earlier today that he heard some or saw some snow geese flying over the campus today. And so I came out here. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, um, Wednesday, February 19th. And snow geese is over um, as of last week. So I'm walking out here across this field towards the Missouri River where I have my blind set up which is right out here, and I heard, I heard them, and there's a, and I'll show you in just a second, but right off this way is my blind, and then off this other point, nearby, on that way, I saw this. You get a good view of them. Now, this is the spring light goose season, so Canada geese are off limits. But um, snows, blues, and moss geese are all fair game. Well, and I, this is a promising sign that animals are coming back up from the south. Well, the problem is, those geese are right there, and my blind is right there. So, okay, I'm on this side of the bay over there where, the, where it showed you the Canada geese are. Um, like I said, there's this little bay right here that opens into the river, and the only way to get across without spooking them would be to go down to that end, where there's a beaver pond, and, um, or there's a beaver dam, and basically crawl across the dam so they don't see me. Now there's a blind right here that I'm sitting in right now that someone else built, and I can still see the geese, I haven't chased them away, and I'll give you a shot of them. Um, it looks like most of the flock is just the young ones. But I guess they're called goslings, I guess, I don't know. But I'll show you. I haven't seen any open water out there, so, um, I don't know. And there's this bay, and then there's a smaller one right behind my blind, which is straight out ahead of me. So, I'm going to go down around there, see if I can get in there, sit tight, and see if any snow geese come by. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. I'm going to try to not scare these guys off. So, I'll try and get out to the blind. Hopefully, there's not a bunch of cannon. Canada geese already in that little bay where the blind is. So we'll see. See if anything comes by. Okay, um, it's almost five. Actually, it pretty much is five now. Um, so I've been out here for almost an hour at my blind. Uh, I'll give you a pan around of it. A uh, couple things wrong with it because of the wind that I had to fix. Other than that, it's been fine. Um, Because I've had them, I've had tons of flocks just coming up the river, flying over the top. Of Some of the ones that were over there that I, that I showed you got up and came over the top. And I'm sitting here, I'm moving around the blind, doing stuff, and there's two sitting right out off the ice, probably 100 yards away. Not even that, probably 70 yards. They're just sitting there watching me. They have no, apparently they have no clue that I'm here. But um, I've seen some other flocks of Canada geese come over with what looks like smaller geese, which might have been snows or blues or something like that. But I couldn't see them very well because of my eyes. I have crappy eyesight. So. Um, wind's probably 20 right now. It's still about 50 degrees. Um, we've had a hot spell, kind of almost 50, 
or almost 60 for the last couple of days. And yeah, this this wind right now is from this front that's coming in. It's actually supposed to snow tonight, so you can almost kind of feel it. So I've seen lots of activity, just no snow geese, I guess. And right up here, about 20 yards, not even. They obviously don't care that this blinds here, so let me give you a quick pan of what's going on. So, this is my blind, that's my 12 gauge. Um, 870 Wingmaster, gotta have an 870. Um, so, you got a quick pan. That's your door right there. I have a flap up right now, but you can kind of see that front coming in. Give you like a pan around. This little, there's another little door right here. That's for the, that's for if you have a dog with you. Oh. And the ice is really melting off. And in fact, there's a big open patch of water right out there. Hang on. Okay, well you can see the blue, so you get the idea. But there's an open patch of water right there. Geese are landing here when the wind's coming from the north, I guess, to get out of the wind. They land on that side but to get out of the wind when it's coming from the south. So I don't I don't think we're gonna see any snow geese tonight, but I figured with the front coming in I've got a little bit of time that I should at least come out here and scout. Even if I don't get anything. But like I said I did see a couple of I did see two flocks of what looked like geese along with a flock of Canada geese and they were a lot smaller like quite a bit smaller so and they weren't ducks so I couldn't tell like I said I couldn't tell exactly what they were because of my eyesight but hopefully at least some snow geese are moving in for the last two three days so I mean the ground is pretty well thawed so I can get some steaks in I'll give you a look at the blind here Still, 40, it's still in the 40s right now, so I guess that's how South Dakota works. So I guess I'll pop the camera off for now. And when something comes over, I'll pop the camera. Off. We'll see you this weekend.